So a shooting star is generally the actual material that we're seeing is only maybe the size of a grain of sand or a pea. So very small, but it's traveling at such high speeds. It's about 20 kilometers per second. So that's not 20 kilometers per hour, but 20 kilometers per second. Um, and this is just huge energy. And as it's pushing against the atmosphere, as it's entering, uh, the friction that it's causing is just this huge amount of energy. And that's the streak of light that we see across the sky. But that's happening. It may seem to be close, but it's actually happening at 75, 100 kilometers up from the Earth's surface. Hi, my name is Gavin Kenny. I'm a researcher at Natarista Riksmuseet, and most of my research involves meteorites and impact craters where asteroids collide with the Earth. So for an actual piece of rock to survive the entry and not just burn up and be a meteor, we think perhaps bigger than the size of a basketball or a bit bigger than that. Um, they will often break up as it enters the atmosphere, but if you're bigger than that size, there's a good chance it will make it to the Earth's surface and then we could be able to pick up this chunk of rock. So here we have uh, a stain meteorite, also known as a so stone, stony meteorite. And this was found in Södermanland in 1947, so it was actually seen landing on Earth. And when it was found on the ice uh, of a lake, it, was, it has this black crust that we can see here. And it formed this crust as it was coming through the atmosphere. So at extreme temperatures that were reached as it came through the atmosphere caused it to form this thin black crust that we call a fusion crust. But you can see it's quite thin. So when we break it open, we can see the interior of the rock. Most meteorites that we have today, it doesn't, they don't cause much damage when they um, land on the Earth's surface. So they might just land, well, obviously a lot land in the oceans and don't cause us any trouble. Some just land in fields and don't cause any trouble. In 2013, there was one uh, that came in uh, in Russia, Chelyabinsk, a lot of people have seen footage of, and that uh, caused uh, the wave, shock wave coming out as that entered the atmosphere, caused a lot of damage. A lot of, it was near a city, so a lot of uh, windows were smashed and buildings damaged, but I don't think anybody, there was no loss of life from that. 